Properly lip syncing artists on your music video shoots is extremely important. What's up guys, Rolls at Production here and today I'm going to be giving you guys my favorite tips and tricks that I picked up over the years of filming music videos on how I lip sync artists on my music video sets as well as how I sync the audio of the master track to the real time footage in Final Cut Pro 10. It's super simple and I'm going to break it down for you guys. Before you even press record on your camera, you need to be informing the artist that they need to sing out loud. Now performance scene, if you guys don't know, is when the artist is actually singing along to the song while you're filming them. Now if an artist is not singing out loud during a performance scene, this is when some issues can come up with the artist actually looking like they're mumbling even if they're not. So if they're just moving their lips, sometimes when you do go to sync up the audio, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look like the energy's there and honestly, with them not singing out loud, it can take a lot of energy away from the scene itself. Before you even press record, just tell the artist, just inform them like, yo, speak up a little bit, sing out loud. It's gonna look a lot better if you're singing out loud. I know it feels awkward, but it's gonna make for a really dope shot. So maybe mid-performance scene, you notice that they aren't actually singing out loud. You need to tell them mid-scene, hey, yo, speak up, um, sing out loud. I need to hear your voice a little bit. Now there's an artist that I've been working with for the past three years. His name is Bonfice. You've probably seen a lot of the tutorials and behind the scenes breakdowns that I've done with him on set. He just knows that when he hops on set, he knows that he has to be singing his performance scenes out loud. And that's the perk of shooting with an artist multiple times or more than once. They just kind of know how you film the video and how you direct it. So they will just pick up on these little things like when you say, hey, we're shooting a performance scene, they know to sing out loud. And if you don't believe me that he sings out loud on all of his performance scenes, you guys can actually download all the 4K raw files from our last music video we shot, Bonfils Self Made. I'm offering every single raw file from that music video set as well as the mastered version of the audio so you guys as creatives can practice editing music videos all on your own without having to shoot the footage. Let's talk about the speaker that I use for lip syncing artists. I personally love using the JBL Clip speakers. Now I say that I have two Bluetooth speakers on deck at all times when I shoot my music videos because just in case the one speaker dies, I know that I have a fully charged speaker ready to go. I don't have my JBL speaker on me right now, it's back at the office. However, I love that it has the clip, hence why they have it in the name. Now you can clip this onto your belt buckle, you can clip it onto a side pocket, you can clip it even onto your Ronin if you really wanted to. This is super clutch because you can keep the speaker close to you at all times when the song is playing during a performance scene. Now I say this because it's very important to keep the audio playing off the speaker close to the microphone on your camera. It's just going to be a lot easier to lay over the master version of the audio to the actual real time footage. So just keep that in mind, unless you of course have a very loud speaker like a big boom box or something, you can also use those too, it's probably going to pick up just fine. But if you're shooting outdoors, maybe you're shooting where it's like in a public area and there's just a bunch of traffic and road noise or just environment noise, it's really nice to attach that JBL speaker just to a belt buckle and you can just walk around wherever you are and as long as the camera's close to you, the camera will pick it up just fine and it will be super simple to um, sync that up in post. All right guys, so we're gonna move over to Final Cut Pro 10 here and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to sync up the audio. It's super simple. So if you want to sync up an entire music video worth of audio, I actually have a separate video on how to set up a multicam clip on Final Cut Pro 10, which makes for an extremely easy editing timeline. It just takes a lot of time to set up and I already have a full video tutorial on that. So I'll leave that in the link in the description if you guys want to check that out and on a hover card somewhere on the top of the screen here if you want to check it out after this video. But for now, I'm going to teach you guys how to sync up clip by clip and what to look for when you are doing lip syncing for music videos. Okay, so we're in Final Cut Pro 10 here and I have the mastered version of the audio right here of the song and I have a bunch of performance scenes right here that I have very nicely organized. So again, for this scene, we were actually using the JBL clip speaker. As you can see, you can hear the audio really well, which I'll play it right now. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this entire performance scene clip into the timeline here on Final Cut Pro 10. All right guys, so one thing to be very mindful of when you're editing here is the um, the wavelengths of the audio. So all these blue little mountains and divots within the um, clip here, and I know this is really breaking it down, but this is the audio coming off of the real-time clip. 
So I'm going to play it back here and you'll be able to actually listen to what the real time audio sounded like. So I was using a JBL clip speaker and I had it clipped to my uh, belt buckle for this scene in specific. So you can hear it here. So as you can see, this artist Bonfils is actually singing along out loud to the song as I instructed him to do so right before we started shooting this performance scene. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna zoom into the clip here. So I'm gonna expand it out and I'm gonna wait for the uh, drop of the song. So this is what I do for every single lip sync. Not yet. Okay, so we heard it right there. I'll play it back again so you guys can hear it. Okay, so it's happening right here. And as you can see, there is a little um, change in the wavelength here. So that's when you know a beat dropped or maybe a beat changed or there is a bass line of some sort. So I know that this is where I wanna sync the mastered version of the audio up to the real time footage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over right when that beat hits and I'm gonna click on the clip. I'm gonna press M on my keyboard and it's gonna make a little blue marker like that. So what I'm gonna do now is go into my mastered version of the audio. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna drag the mastered version underneath the performance scene. I'm gonna zoom back in here. So now what I'm gonna do is mute the performance scene. Boom, so now we don't see any of the performance scene. There's no audio, you can't see any of the image or anything. So now what we're gonna hear is the mastered version of the audio. Now I'm gonna press the space bar to press play. And we're just gonna wait for the beat to drop on this song. I know it's gonna happen right here just because I can see that there's a change in the wavelength of the song. Plum's office. She wifey, she got Dr. Plum's office. So it's happening right here as I just said. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over here. I'm gonna zoom in with my trackpad and we're gonna line this up perfectly right at the beginning of the beat. I'm gonna click on the mastered version of the audio and now I'm gonna click M. So now that added another marker. So now what I'm gonna do is zoom out here. So this could be a little issue that you could run into, but I'm gonna pull this audio back. Now I'm gonna match these two markers up. So when I pull this back, it's actually gonna cut off the song by maybe like five or six seconds because when I started this performance scene right here, I actually started when the song was maybe six seconds in. So when I start to press record, the song had already been playing, which is why we can't pull this back anymore. A quick simple fix for that is going into your titles tab, go to generators, click on the custom block here, put it right there, drag this back and boom. And then I drag the custom tab back and now we have the entire beginning of the song. Now let's go back into the sync. So let's see if this sounds good. Dr. Plum's office. She Okay, so as you can see guys, um, this is perfectly synced up. Now, let's say you are going to sync your audio up and for whatever reason, it's kind of off or you didn't perfectly match it like I did here. And that happens to everyone, it happens to me as well. So let's pretend that this is pushed out over here so these markers are not lined up and let's see what it sounds like now. Basically, you're gonna know right away because um, you know beats are gonna start hitting um, from the real time footage like half a second earlier than the mastered version of the audio. So it's gonna sound very echoey. And this is what it's gonna sound like when you don't do it properly. So as you can see, it's just not synced up perfectly there. So I'm gonna pull it back to the marker and play it back again for you guys. Dr. Plum's office. Alright guys, so that's basically it on how I sync up my audio in Final Cut Pro 10 with the mastered version of a music video audio to the real-time footage. Now, like I mentioned before, if you guys want to check out a in-depth tutorial on how I set up my multicam clips on Final Cut Pro 10, again, I will leave it on a hover card somewhere up here if I can leave it again there but either way I will leave that link in description if you are a music video editor and use Final Cut Pro 10 trust me that video will make your life so much easier and will take your music video edits not only to another level but it'll just increase your productivity by like 500% I'm not even kidding it makes for 
super simple music video edits on Final Cut Pro 10. And that is the main reason why I can edit music videos extremely quickly on Final Cut Pro 10. All right guys, so thanks for checking out my little quick hit video on how I lip sync artists on my music video sets. Even though it's very obvious in my behind the scenes videos of like kind of my process of lip syncing artists and how I always have a speaker on me or a JBL speaker on me that's playing the song out loud. I think it was worth making a separate video for, especially for Final Cut Pro 10 users. I think it just kind of dumbs down and simplifies that um, lip syncing is super simple. You just have to make sure you have a speaker on deck. Again, I highly recommend having a Bluetooth speaker, at least two on set, just in case the first one dies. It's really hard for the artist to get hyped up and to do performance scene where they don't feel awkward if the song is just being played off of a phone which isn't super loud and it's just really hard for the artist to vibe along with the song if it's just playing off the small speaker on a phone so yeah guys thanks for checking out the video if you don't subscribe to this channel consider doing so as i post a lot of really cool filmmaking tips and tricks videos as well as very in-depth behind the scenes videos on my film sets so with all that being said guys make sure to like comment and subscribe i'll catch you on the next video peace she ain't got nobody like nobody when i got this flow no one can stop me, cold hearted devil for my soul, try to rob me, grabbing my 40 avocado, mixing out with a coke.